Yeah, Nico, you're probably the guy that, the, the one person I know, well, let me put it this way. I don't know anybody that likes Pinotage more than you do. I think that you hit the <laughs> nail on the head with that one. So just tell us about Pinotage. Where does it come from? What's, this, what's the backstory? Because you don't find it in most places in the world. Yeah, that's correct. Pinotage was a, a, a grape variety that was developed in the mid-1920s by a professor in Stellenbosch University. And uh, he cross-pollinated a Pinot Noir with Sinso and ended up with the grape variety that we've got now as Pinotage. It's a little bit more fuller bodied and what makes it so unique is that Sinso and Pinot Noir's varieties are quite uh, light and airy fairy and you get, got a child that's uh, quite big and bold like Bucky's Boota. Hmm. <laughs> so what do you think of our range of Pinotage here at, uh, at Hillcrest, our small little collection? We've got quite a nice big selection some good quality top of the range wines ranging from your Kanonkops, your Bayerskloofs, your Bierslars, Kaapsig and Rakes, and then also an amazing range of everyday drinking pinotages, some, something to suit every pocket. And uh, I'm a bit disappointed with my mates at Bayerskloof. They only sent me three cases of the Bayerskloof uh, diesel. Uh, and I find that so if if uh, if you, anybody from uh, Bayerscliff is watching this video shame on you <laughs> We should have got a bigger allocation than just three cases this year. It's unacceptable. I've got one bottle left on shelf Really one lonely little bottle <laughs> Unacceptable Thanks for sharing your knowledge only a pleasure Mike and, See you on uh, Saturday. And hopefully we can grow the Pinotage. It's something unique to South Africa and we'd love to see more Pinotage drinkers. Most definitely. <laughs> so later guys.